Well, hi. In this video tutorial, I would like to show how to use this excellent and very powerful Bible software called eSword. And this, th there's a version for the Windows operating system and for the Mac operating system. But I'm going to show the Windows version <clears throat> because the, the Mac is, is not free, I don't believe. But um, anyway, so if you just open your browser, you go to eSword.net, www.e-sword.net. In, in that page you're going to find uh, the main the main eSword page you go to download eSword and then you just want to click on eSword install okay and this one will have uh, the latest version notice here that you can uh, get eSword for Mac or Linux okay you want to you want to click on that link and then it will show you how to how to get that. Um, I might be wrong about Mac the Mac version being um, not free, but anyway, there you have that. And you click on that, on that, and then you can download it. Okay, it's gonna. I already downloaded it before. And you want to say save. And you want to go ahead and go through the, uh, the motions of installation, just uh, follow the menu. And once it is installed, you want to double click on the icon that appears on the desktop. Okay. And by the way, this, <coughs> this program is completely free. You can, however, uh, give a donation to the creator of eSword. And, uh, and I have done that because I have been blessed by this software for about 14 years now that I've been using it and it's it's the most amazing tool um, one of the best tools out there in my opinion so uh, one of the things that I want to show is that here in this when you first install it you will ha you will have all of these different windows showing in your desktop okay in your screen and uh, you're gonna have the top left corner it's gonna be your Bible section on the right you can have a commentary section on on the bottom left you can have a dictionary section and on the bottom right you're gonna have the editor editors section now if you have a widescreen monitor like I do on my laptop that's okay now if you also have two monitors that's also great but if you if you don't have um, you know this kind of monitor it might it might be hard to read and one of the nice things about these little pins that you see is that you can you can unpin it and hide them and they're going to be living here on the on the left edge of your screen okay so for example you know, my dictionary is going to be there, or my editor there, or my commentary there, all right? <clears throat> and I can always go back and, and get them if I need to. So, that's that's very good right there. You know, here on the Bible books, this is how we can browse for the different books of the Bible, okay? They're all there, and we can uh, select the book and select the chapter, okay? And that shows there. On these <coughs> arrows, we can go to the next chapter or the previous chapter. Okay, now under the Bibles section, we every tab that you see here is a translation. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different translations, and I have a compare and I have a parallel. All right. Now, if you want, if you wanted to download more Bible versions you go to download Bibles and under Bibles you're gonna have all of these different Bibles that are that are free there are some which are not like for example premium here you have to buy these guys and they're also in different 
translations. Okay, you can download the Geneva Bible with Apocrypha, or the King James Bible with Apocrypha, or, or you can download the Spanish versions like I am bilingual. And well, if it appears black, it's because it's already been downloaded. But let's say that I wanted to download. Uh, Reina Valera 19, 1960. Oh, I guess I'm sorry, that's, that's purchase. So let me do let me do this one. And let's say that I wanted, oh wait, um, I downloaded the Greek Old Testament uh, with uh, the Septuagint translation of the of the Old Testament with the strong numbers. I also have the Textus Receptus uh, of the New Testament with the strong numbers. Let's say that I just wanted just the Textus Receptus with nothing else. I also have the Hebrew with strong uh, strong numbers and let's say that I wanted to get the Hebrew Old Testament without the strong numbers. Because let's say that I'm studying Hebrew and by the way, uh, Strong is uh, is the last name of uh, a scholar who spent a lot of time cataloging the words in the new in the King James Bible and, and actually from the Greek and the Hebrew uh, original languages, he put a number next to each word and made a dictionary and a concordance to be able to do cross references and word studies and whatnot and so all of that all, all of the, those resources have been incorporated in eSword uh, for easy use so once we uh, select the Bibles we can go to commentaries and we can download more commentaries if we like go to dictionaries and we can you know get more dictionaries if we like um, and there are devotions, there are graphics. You, know, you can, um, for example, if you were curious about Clarence Larkin's book of charts, some people don't like them at all. But anyway, um, once you decided to download whatever you want, just uh, go to device. I'm sorry, go to uh, download, start. Okay, you're gonna see this progress bar. Downloading all of these different uh, materials, and they are for free. <coughs> And once it's done, you just have to close this. It, it, it's going to ask you to restart eSword to see the new editions. You're going to close it. And you're going to reopen it. Might take a little bit to, to load up. You're going to have these uh, tips, okay, that. Uh, you will learn a lot from you can click the next tips say okay now check this out <clears throat> I have the GNT stands for uh, Greek New Testament and this is a 19, uh, 1894 uh, revision well for Ecclesiastes since I have Ecclesiastes selected it's not going to be available because it's New Testament so if I, if I want to go to Romans chapter 1 there you have it you can read the Greek, or if you want to see a Greek, the same text but with the strong numbers for each Greek word, we can do that. Okay. Uh, Hebrew Old Testament. Well, we need to have a Hebrew Bible in there, a Hebrew version. We have this. Remember that Hebrew reads from right to left. If you want to see the Hebrew Old Testament with strong numbers, you can see that. We have the King James Version. King James Version with strong numbers, and this is the Greek Old Testament with strong numbers. Okay, so we can see the Greek translation of the Hebrew Old Testament. We have the Reina Valera in Spanish, we have Reina Valera with strong numbers. Okay, and we have the Spanish Sagrada Escritura, and we have we can compare Bibles here or we can see parallels so for example uh, if i wanted to see the king james and compare it to the reina valera for example <clears throat> i can see verse by verse how they're compared okay and if i wanted to see 
Okay, I want the King James with strong numbers for both. You know, I can, I can see the differences because I can read both languages, English and Spanish. I can do a comparison of the translations, uh, believe it or not, but the translators were uh, different people and 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 it's it's amazing that they say exactly pretty much exactly the same thing so another great tool is the graphics so if you come here to graphics viewer you can actually uh, see the we have the, these tabs with different maps you can actually select what maps you want to see we have larkin here these charts we can maximize this and we can move it around and for example we can we can select for example uh, creation of the earth right and so um, you know this man made some made some charts and, and try to illustrate <coughs> what the Bible uh, says right for example we can look at the church all right this 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 is uh, this could be a, you know a great reference to do a Bible study. Um, I don't necessarily agree with these charts, uh, the way the author interpreted some passages of scripture, but it nonetheless uh, I think he deserves uh, some merit. In, in, this can be a, a great tool. Okay, let me close this and let's move on to just put a King James here. And one of the most powerful features of eSword is the search tool. So here the binoculars here, search Bible. Okay, let's say that you um, you want to look for a verse that you remember, but you don't exactly remember the reference where it is the book, chapter or verse, but you just remember a couple of words. Like for example, um, I know that the that, that, that one of the name that, that, that one of the names of God, which is uh, Jehovah, in Spanish is used uh, many 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 times, but in, in English it's only used a few times. In the vast majority of the time that that the that the name that that particular name of God appears was translated Lord in capital L, capital O, capital R, and capital D, but it is the actual tetragrammaton. Uh, in the Hebrew language, and and, um, and people were actually uh, calling uh, God by Adonai, which means uh, Lord. Anyway, so if you wanted to see the word Jehovah in the Old Testament, but you don't know exactly where that appears, let's let's type it up here, and then we're gonna say we're gonna search it up in the King James. We can select other versions if we want to. Uh, we can, uh, in this option, we can select search for all of the words or any of the words, um, the exact phrase. And we're gonna, I'm gonna do another example here of a phrase. We can select the entire Bible or we can ask it to search just the Old Testament or any book of the Old Testament or the New Testament. Okay, and when we're done, we can just say search. Okay. And apparently that word is not going to come up. Okay. By the word Lord. In capital R, I guess it's working. There we go. But if I wanted to look or I want to see right now what it is, and I want to say Kirola. Okay, there you go. Actually, you know what? I'm curious now to say, let's see the Exodus. Let's look at Exodus 6 3. Okay. Oh. oh, I guess because I didn't capitalize the entire word, it didn't appear in, in the English um, version. That's interesting. So, Jehovah. 
Okay, so if I say find it in the King James, it doesn't like it, but if I say Ah, I was missing the H. Okay. Okay. Uh, capital. Um, it's not case sensitive. Okay. I just needed the. A I was missing the. I was spelling it in Spanish, not English. There you go. So, it tells us it appears four times. Okay. Um, now, how about? Let's look for. Let's say that. Um, I wanna. I wanna know. I, I'm looking for. I remember that the Bible says somewhere, the Lord is one Lord. Okay. But I have no clue where that is. Okay. So let's type it up. The Lord is one Lord. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. So we have. 66 verses found, 445 matches. And sometimes we may have to spend some time trying to find what we're looking for, okay? But, Deuteronomy 6 4. Oh, wait a minute. Here, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. That's the one I was looking for. So I can just click on the on their reference, and it will take me right there. And I can just say, okay. And I can just read the entire passage. Okay, but if I'm not convinced that, that that that's what I was looking for, I just press the search again, and he remembers my my last uh, search, so I can look at more verses. Okay, and or if you wanted to search, let's say you want to do a word study on the word Satan. Okay, just enter. So, uh, in, in the entire Bible, the word Satan <clears throat> appears 49, in 49 verses, and there are 56 matches, okay, and you can look at all of these, look at the, the, the summary, it tells us, it gives us this really nice chart, okay, it appears in Job. 11 verses, 14 matches, and so on. Now, what, I, what if I just want to do that for just the Old Testament? Okay, I search again. Okay, it appears in 15 verses, 19 matches, and it tells us exactly where, all right, etc., etc. So, what if I wanted to do a search on the word, is the word uh, creation in the Bible? Okay, just in the Old Testament. It seems like that word does not appear in the Old Testament, but what if I just want to search in the New Testament? Oh, six verses. Okay, great. Well, that concludes my tutorial. Have fun, and you're going to have to find a new few features on your own, or you can go to YouTube. And you can find more tutorials on how to use eSword. There's there are tons and tons of resources on this awesome and great program. So thank you very much and have fun.